How do oxygen concentrators work? Before going to the oxygen concentrator we need to understand the composition of air, 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases like carbon dioxide, argon, etc., clearly shows that air is mainly comprised of two gases, nitrogen and oxygen. If nitrogen is removed from the air, the primary gas remaining would be oxygen with a purity of about 90-95%. to an oxygen concentrator uses this idea with the basic principle of pressure swing adsorption PSA, to deliver 90-95% to pure oxygen. Main components of the oxygen concentrator Air filters, to filter out impurities present in the air. Air compressor, to push room air into the machine and forward it to the molecular sieve beds. Two molecular sieve beds filter, zeolite has the ability to trap nitrogen. Switch valve switches the output of compressor between the two molecular sieve beds. Oxygen outlet, an opening that gives out oxygen to the patient. Flow meter, to set the flow in liters per minute, LPM. The oxygen concentrator equipment working process starts by taking the air around us and filtering it to remove dust, smoke, or other impurities. This purifies that has been compressed with compressed air passes over a filter made zeolite. This is a molecule sieve bed, made of special material that is selective towards absorbing nitrogen more than it is towards oxygen. Let me explain this. So when air is at high pressure nitrogen molecules stick to this zeolite filter and oxygen molecules pass through. So what comes out of the tank is 90-95% to pure oxygen is ready to be supplied to the patient via an oxygen delivery system like nasal cannula, oxygen mask, etc. There are two identical tanks with zeolite filters. Let's say that compressed air at high pressure is passing through tank number A, then the nitrogen keeps getting stuck to the filter in tank A, and pure oxygen comes out. Meantime, in tank B, there is no high pressure air passing through, which means that when the pressure reduces and the nitrogen molecules that were stuck to the zeolite filter now start floating around and part of this pure oxygen from tank A passes through tank B in a reverse flow to remove all these floating nitrogen molecules. This air goes out through the exit valve this way, while one tank is supplying more oxygen. The second tank is getting clean. This cycle swings from tank A to tank B in a manner that as long as the device is plugged in, there is no pause in the supply of oxygen. This process of switching the sieve beds is known as pressure swing adsorption PSA. The output of oxygen is then controlled using a flow meter where the flow can be set manually in liters per minute LPM. Oxygen flows out through an outlet where an oxygen delivery system like a nasal cannula or a mask is usually connected via a humidifier. Kindly subscribe to our channel to get the latest video updates and mention your valuable comments mentioned in the comment box. Thanks for watching.